everybody, James Eggers here, the Thai guy. And I have missed you guys. Uh, I hope you've missed me too. I haven't done a video in like a week and a half because I've been traveling. I was on the West Coast and I can't give the details out about it, but I was filming a TV show where that I was dealing with ties. That's all I'm allowed to say. Uh, but that will be coming out in about a month or so and I'll be making a big announcement on that. Also, I did some shopping on Rodeo Drive and I'm going to share that with you um, probably on tomorrow's video. We'll do a video just on, on my shopping experience. But I'm tying one of the new ties I bought on Rodeo Drive today. And then I also, after that, went to Las Vegas, did a little more shopping there. But today we're going to be tying up this beautiful Hermes tie that I got at the Hermes Boutique on Rodeo Drive. This is a beautiful tie and I do like Hermes ties. Um, in quality, they remind me of a, of a Ferragamo right in that range, about the same price range as well. We're going to do a, a full review over here in a second, but let's talk about this tie. It is a red tie, and it has a lot of the Hermes H's on it, but they're used as staging props for circus animals. So we've got an elephant, we've got a seal, we've got a lion, we've got a giraffe, I'm sorry, a seal uh, with a ball on top of it, and they're standing on top of the Hermes H's as like little tables. So let me take the tag off of this and we will tie this up in just the same. Let's talk about the silk. Um, Hermes, of course, is a French brand. Uh, their ties are made in France. They do have one of the best screen printing processes in the world. Hermes and Salvatore Ferragamo, in my opinion, are the two best at screen printing. Um, they have a very painstaking process they use. Uh, there's some videos you can find online about that. The silk lie is really nice. It is definitely a thinner tie. Now some of the Hermes ties, they're starting to make a little bit thicker. This happens to be one of the thinner collection. Feels literally just like a Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, if you handed me this tie in a blind test and said, what kind of tie is this? I wouldn't be able to differentiate between this and a Ferragamo. So for those Ferragamo fans that are watching this, this Hermes tie is very, very, very similar. The construction looks good. It looks like it's well made. These are not handmade like some of the Italian brands like your Kitan and your Isaia um, and some of the Brionis, but it is, it is well made. You can just tell it's well made. Let's tie this thing up and see how it comes together. Now I am doing a series on exotic knots, but today I'm just going to be tying a full Windsor because I've got a lot of meetings today uh, and a date tonight, and I like that full Windsor for that look. So I'm going to stray from meetings into that. So let's put, tie this thing and see how it comes together. Because it's about the size of a Ferragamo, I'm going to find the same spot as I would with Ferragamo, which is going to be right about here. And that should be about perfect. So let's bring it in here. We're going to do a tutorial on this. So we take, take the uh, back of the tie and we tuck it under. We bring the front of the tie over the top like a crisscross. The secret to tying a perfect Windsor is holding everything tight. See how I've got my finger holding this down? Now we come underneath up and through. And then we're going to keep it tight and we'll come around behind. The secret here is keeping everything flat against. We don't let it overlap or twist. All the way around, up and over. And this is what I call the checkpoint. At this point we're going to make sure that everything looks nice and coming together, which it is. Then we'll come over the front of the tie, holding onto it tight, back in behind and through. And then we're going to tuck it through this little pocket we've created here. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie through. And now we're going to take and pull the corners back, hold the knot, and pull on the front of the tie. And that creates, look at that perfect triangle we're creating. Now we're going to hold the knot, we're going to pull on the back of the tie to bring the knot up to our neck. And we want to check for the length. We want the front of the tie, or the tip of the tie, this part right here, to be between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And we are right there, right in the middle. So let's pull this color down. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little bit of a cold. And let's adjust this knot. We want it to be perfectly symmetrical. Look how beautiful that is. Perfect triangle. Absolutely perfect. This tie tied great. I'm telling you, it feels just like a Ferragamo. I, I can't tell the difference between this particular Hermes series and Ferragamo, which is okay because they're both great ties. Now the look is going to start, start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now in case you want to try to copy this look. Today we're wearing a blue Amerna Gilda Zinnia suit. So a blue suit. It's not a navy blue, it's a brighter blue, but it's not a super bright, it's got like a medium. I really like, this is probably my favorite color blue in a suit. Navy's a little more universal, but I love this. We have a light blue Brooks Brothers Milano fit shirt. I wear a Milano fit in Brooks Brothers because it fits me off the rack. I don't need any alterations. And we have on a red Hermes tie with little blue, little blue and gray circus animals staging on little H's, uh, the Hermes H's. We're to pair that today with a dark brown uh, Salvatore Ferragamo dress belt with a gold belt buckle. And today we've got on a pair of Christian Louboutin brown 
Oxfords. Now on my Instagram, Ty Guy James Acres, if you want to join almost 40,000 people that are following me on Instagram, um, you'll see everything staged as well as close-ups of the knot, self of, selfies of me wearing the outfit, uh, close-ups of the shoes, the labels on the clothes, everything else that you may want to see on my Instagram. So check that out. Guys, I'm sorry it took me a week and a half to create a new video. I've just been traveling. I didn't take my camera with me because I had to take about 30 ties with me on this trip and uh, my suitcase was pretty full because I'm very particular about my ties. I have to have them all boxed and everything else. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you tie the perfect full Windsor. And tomorrow I'll be doing a video uh, over the weekend. Today's a Friday. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be doing a video just on some of the new ties I got on the on the trip and going over those with you and doing some reviews of some ties, including a Caton I bought at the Caton Boutique. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about Caton as a brand tomorrow. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching. Please click subscribe and like. I am Ray Rourke.